Hello all of you, welcome again to the video series of exam 70-533 Microsoft Azure Infrastructure as a Service. This is the next video from the series. Okay, uh, we know how to create a web app, we know what is custom domain and many other components of a web app. Today I'm going to share a topic of scaling of a web app. You see two options scale up and scale out under the settings tab on the left pan when you check the overview of a web app this is the overview of a web app that you see okay so what happens is like as of now you have the current plan the pricing plan that you selected while creating this web app let's say it's uh, I'm using the dev and test version you can use the isolated version as well I will discuss what is app service environment in future videos let's leave it for now uh, you click on production and you see that you're using the s1 version which has one core 1.75 gb of the memory a series compute system at the back end and it cost me around six inr per hour it's an estimate version you see there is a lot of traffic on your website and you want it to upgrade so the scale up means you are scaling up in terms of the pricing plan that you're using you can scale up to s2 you can scale up to s3 p1 p2 p3 as per your requirement okay you see another option which is scale out by scale out you mean that you are increasing the instant scout within this service plan that you're using you can increase it to two three four five anything you want let's say I Let's say I wanted to scale it to 2. Just click on 2, come here and click save. So it says updating auto scale configuration, updating auto scale configurations for service plan this. So you'll see that this is the manual scaling that you have done. You have increased the instance count to 2 manually. So why is it giving me upscaling the auto scale configuration? I'll tell you how. So when you click on enable auto scale first of all you'll, you'll have to name this setting let's say we give it auto auto scale one my resource group name is test as a web app in which my web app resides default condition let's say we configure a default location and scale based on a metric scale based on a specific instance count I'll tell you the metric in the instance count. So as of now, let's say I the default condition auto created scale condition. My default condition is to the very last or default recurrence rule cannot be deleted. Instead, you can disable auto scale to turn off auto scale. So default whatever happens, this scale condition is executed when none of the other scale conditions match. Let's say I enable few or more scale condition and anything does not match us. So I say whatever happens whatever the case may be default would be to raise and to increase the instance count to 2 okay then I go to another scale condition and now I add a rule I'm scaling it on a basis of a few metrics when you click on add rule it is taking some time but there would be another window popping out and we'll set the settings on that window to enable the auto scale based on a metric so you see this another window okay current resource is my current resource which is service plan criteria time aggregation average I'm selecting the average and tell you why let's say I want to configure the auto scale on the basis of the CPU percentage that my web apps uses and operator it should be greater than the percentage that I am adding in so let's say I'm keeping a threshold of 70 duration 10 minutes it means that in the background I just increased my instance count to 2 and if the CPU percentage the average the CPU percentage of those two instances is greater than 70% then this condition would be met 
So action would be to increase the count by one. Okay, as soon as the average of the CPU of those two instances increased by 70% and the duration should be 10 minutes. Let's say if for five minutes the average was more than 70% then the instance count would not be increased. It depends upon your team, your discussion. You want to keep it for five minutes, you want to keep it for two minutes. Let's say we keep it for two minutes. Five. The reason it gave me error, the value for the selected metric should be between five and 20 and 20. So two minutes will not accept, I need to five. Cool down, it says, the amount of time to wait after a scale operation before scaling again. For example, if cooldown is 10 minutes and a scale operation just occurred, auto scale will not attempt to scale again up until after 10 minutes. So let's say I specify the period for scaling a cooldown 5. Let's say the instance occurred, instance resolved. It will wait for 5 minutes for the situation to be under control. Cooldown, then it would decrease the count by 1. I click on add. default is you remember we said the default rule if in case there is a problem reading the resource metrics and the current capacity is below the default capacity then to ensure the availability of the resource auto scale will scale out to the default but we have given the default as two if you remember default rule instance count increased two minimum is one the maximum is one utc start date whenever you want to start and then after configuring this you click on save and your auto scaling scale out scale in scale up would be set up and let's say you manually scale out the instance count to two and if you manually want to decrease it you can again go to scale out decrease the count to two, click on save if you don't want to enable auto scaling I think it was informative for all of you have any questions any feedback please mention in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting and exciting stuff on cloud i just made a video on amazon solution architect associate level exam i'm i'm making sure that i upload as much as videos as i can every day in future my plan is to cover all of the three certifications of azure all of the three certifications of amazon Office 365 and Google Cloud Computing. So stay tuned for more exciting videos on cloud on this channel and soon I, we will be launching a website to host all of these uh, training courses. All the videos that you see on YouTube would have a link on the website as well and if you have any requirement for online personal training for Azure for any cloud computing technology please don't forget to send an email to me or mention that in the comment section i'll reach out to you and we can discuss that thank you for watching this video you have a great day ahead bye, -bye.